Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of the YouTube world, CJ Rose is back in the building. Welcome back to the channel. Word is born, love is love. Like, comment, subscribe, and do all the above. And if you ain't doing anything today, follow my Instagram, Ruger Rose 23 is the place to be. All right. <clears throat> Last night was AEW All Elite Wrestling was last night off the heels of revolution banger of a show uh let's see what happened a lot happened last night scorpio sky is the new tnt champion was not expecting it but it's happening it happened uh let's see what else uh, uh we had a surprisingly world title match that i'm not sure anybody knew chris jericho is officially healed and now we have the jericho was it the Jericho, Jericho something society? No, the Jericho Admiration Society, something like that. It's J A, it's J A S. I know that. Um, something else. Uh, Thunder Rosa will challenge Britt Baker next week. Steel Cage for the for the women's title. Um, yeah, you know, a couple things went down. Something else happened last night. A debut. A debut happened last night. <clears throat> and it goes like this. So we had the A the H A no the AHFO Family Office Emergency Board Meeting. And they're coming off the heels of Revolution as well as Matt Hardy, Andrade, and Isaiah Cassidy lost recently to Sammy Guevara, Darby Allen, and Sting. So Andrade's had problems with Matt for a minute because he felt they could be better, but he feels Matt Hardy has been holding them back. So this emergency board meeting was to vote to see if Matt will stay or will he go. Uh, of course, Andrade and I guess his uh, handler, I don't know who the hell that is, name, name leaves my head. <laughs> uh, he pretty much... You know, he and Andrade pretty much, you know, don't want anymore. They said, thumbs up, you, thumbs up if I stay, thumbs up if I go down. So both of those had them thumbs down. Um, Matt, tell, Matt saying private party will, you know, they'll vote me in. Of course they will. So at the time, it was three thumbs, three thumbs up, two thumbs down. Then the minute Matt Hardy still had his back turned, private party puts their thumbs down. So pretty much they're saying, we're tired of your shit too. So, boom. It's a six-on-one beating. Six people beating one person ass. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. Then, out comes Darby Allen and Sting. I'm going to call Sting now Cool Dad Sting. <laughs> because this man just comes out so cool and mellow. I like it. He just comes out and says, all right, I'm tired of this shit. You know what I'm saying? I like Sting. I love Sting. <laughs> comes out. And Darby Allen and Sting get into it, but now it's a six on three now. Still, the, the numbers are still a little bit off. As we're sitting here, we hear a familiar theme. No, no new theme. A familiar theme we've been hearing for 20 years. And I'm going to get to that theme in a minute because I'm actually surprised. Well, I'm not. I'm surprised I'm not. We'll get to it. A familiar theme. And who is it? It's none other than Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy is in AEW. Am I happy? Absolutely. I am ecstatic. Jeff Hardy runs down in the ring, takes care of business, you know, gets a little licks in on the on the family office. Then Matt Hardy hits a twist of fate. Jeff Hardy goes up top, swan time bomb. And the brothers are back together. How long has it been since Matt and Jeff? I think it's been about three years. 2019. So, yeah, about three years since they've been apart. Because I remember at the time Jeff was out with an injury. And Matt was just getting... <laughs> Matt was just getting his ass beat here and there. Then he left for AEW back in 2020. So, boom. <laughs> Yeah, it's been about two to three years, but the brothers are back together. The Hardy Boys are back. 
Take note into something though. You saw you look at Darby Allen's reaction. It's so genuine. It's a small thing, but you have to look at Darby Allen's reaction. That Darby Allen literally learned everything from that man Jeff Hardy. If you don't sit there and think to yourself, damn, Darby Allen is kind of like Jeff Hardy. And then, boom, my man's in the same ring with the same guy he's been watching for years. My man, Darby Allen, just, he, just, he just looked, bro. He just, he just looked astonished. Like, he looked, he like, he couldn't believe he was in the ring with somebody he's looked at for years. I liked it. I loved it. And to think about it, and think about this. The Hardy Boys have gone on record and said they always watched Sting. They watched Sting when they grew up. Imagine those two being in the same ring with Sting. Like it like that that whole scene, that whole that whole thing is crazy. Like if you know the underlining about it, it's it's crazy. But yeah. Um, Jeff Hardy is all elite. Jeff Hardy is in AEW. There was rumors about it a couple uh, a couple weeks ago talking about Jeff Hardy confirmed it, but then Jeff Hardy went on Twitter talking about it was just something I said I want to do. I'm not. I never said I was there. Not confirmed. You know, he, he pretty much played it off, and then boom, weeks later, here we are. <laughs> the Hardys are here. The Hardy Boys are back. Now, a couple things. For me, number one, it's uh, here I am thinking that that the Hardy Boys theme was literally owned by WWE. Here's here's me thinking about it. But then again, I heard it on a commercial before. So that kind of, but that was like years ago. So I, I, I don't know if they took the rights off that, but I guess Tony Khan bought the rights to that theme, which you know what? I'm not mad at. I'm not mad at it at all. Thank God. I was trying to figure out. I was if Jeff Hardy ever went to AEW. What the hell was I gonna hear? I thought I was gonna hear one of Jeff Hardy's songs. You know, Jeff Hardy makes music. I thought I hear that, but thank God they he bought the rights to that theme. So I'm kind of happy about that. Number two, this is another debut, another AEW debut. I don't know what part they're gonna play. In terms of, uh, you know, the Hardys. I mean, I, I would think Jeff. Jeff is going to have to be a singles wrestler and a tag team wrestler. So it's like, I think you can go either way with it. But I think right now, I think keep them as a tag team for now. Let them build up some wins, rack up some wins. Um, and then from there... Maybe we'll get another run at the titles. Who knows? Imagine it, though. Hardys versus the Jurassic Express. The Hardys versus the Young Bucks. The Hardys versus FTR. The Hardys versus... Who else? Uh, Santana Ortiz. Uh, the Hardys versus Private Party. That's a dream match. Private Party said they learned everything from the Hardys. So, boom. There you go. That would be crazy. Um, the Hardys versus the Butcher and the Blade, you know, the Hardys versus, shit, if we want to go deep, the Hardys versus Darby Allin and Sting, if that ever could happen. I don't know. Possibility, but hey, you may never know. But right now, the possibilities are endless for what Tony Khan could build up in his head for the Hardys in terms of dream matches. The Hardys versus Red Dragon. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, listen, 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 listen. listen. Listen, I'm foaming at the mouth here. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm foaming at the mouth here. It's, it's crazy. Whew. All right. Jeff Hardy, all elite. I'm cool with it. As long as I see Jeff Hardy on my television screen, I personally don't care where he's at. As long as he's good, he's happy. It's all that matters. I've always said man and Jeff should never be in separate companies. I always felt they should be together. It just makes, just makes more of a sense. And here they are. And another company together <laughs> it is what it is man it's been rose man thank you for watching thank you for all the love support as always i will be back
today. Because uh, as I said, WW2K22, I got it. I got it yesterday. It got it's loaded up. I'm about to play it right now. We're about to get into it. Let's get it. So until next time, peace, love, want it. Here.